Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Film Friday. I uh, hope you had a great week and that you were able to go out and shoot. Um, in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how I develop color film at home. Um, I bought this uh, kit from Unicolor. Uh, it's very inexpensive. I think I paid around $30. Um, it comes with a powder mix that you would uh, you mix with water um, and you make it at home. You have uh, the developer, uh, the Blix, and a stabilizer. Now, one thing about um, developing color film at home, uh, it, you do have to keep in mind uh, the temperature that you keep uh, your, your, your chemicals um, because they, they, they have to be at a certain temperature um, throughout the whole process so it develops well. Um, so with this, I have to be more careful. Um, so what I do um, is I have a container, I fill it up with water, with hot water, uh, and I check the temperature with my with my thermometer, and that's how I, I keep it, you know. And if it gets a little bit too cold, I just add more hot water, and I keep the the, the temperature. Some people, I mean, want to spend more money, and they have this uh, automatic like uh, like thermometers that go into the water, and as soon as they they detect that you know it's a degree down, two degrees down, it it, it just starts heating up the water. Uh, I just didn't want to go that route and buy something like that. I just do it uh, by adding more hot water and that's it. I want to apologize for the color on uh, this video. Uh, I recorded it in my bathroom and it was nighttime already so I had the tungsten light and it was really hard to uh, color correct it. So it looks kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, uh, I hope you forgive me. Enough talking, uh, this is how I develop color film at home. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Okay, cool, so we're gonna start developing. And uh, so the chemicals that I have are from Unicolor. Let's see if it focuses. There you go, from Unicolor. And it brings a developer of um, uh, bl Blix and uh, Fixer. So everything uh, has to be at a certain temperature. So first we're gonna do a pre-soak. Pre we're gonna pre-wash it, uh, the film. Uh, it's one minute, uh, 102 Fahrenheit. Then we're gonna develop it, 3.5 minutes, uh, 102 Fahrenheit. Then we're gonna add the Blix. That's gonna be six and a half minutes. Uh, it can vary from 95 uh, Fahrenheit to 105 Fahrenheit. Then we're gonna wash it. Then we're gonna put the stabilizer. Uh, and uh, then we're gonna dry it. So, let's start. So first, pre-wash. We gotta keep this at one or two. So, let's see. Okay, so right now we reached temperature, it's one or two. So we're gonna go ahead, let me have this, the timer ready. Uh, stop, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and pre-soak it. Okay, let's start. We're gonna do one minute and one minute. Let's check the temperature here. This temperature is good. We're gonna keep adding a little more water though. A little more hot water. This is gonna go down. All right, it's about to be one minute. And we're gonna see what color. One minute, there you go. See, gonna see what color comes out. Oh, it's like yellowish. All right. Now, I'm gonna come here with the developer. Add 10 ounces. There we go. 
back. All right. And we're gonna agitate for the first 10 seconds. Start it. Or four rotations. Two, three, four. And we're gonna put it back in here so it stays at that temperature. And we're gonna agitate every 30 seconds. Thirty seconds it is. One, two, three, four. Gonna get rid of those bubbles. We're gonna go again. It's Thirty seconds. One, two, three, four. Get rid of those bubbles. All right, three minutes. All right, so now I'm gonna get ready to pour back my chemicals. I've made this, as you've seen on a previous episode, is a funnel I made out of a bottle. So it's almost time for the blicks. It's 325, 326, 28. Three minutes and a half. All right, gonna pour our developer back this container. So now we're gonna wash this, the lid, just so I don't get any oil for there. Cool. And rinse this real quick. All right, so we're gonna get the blicks here. Okay, let's put 10 ounces. Ten ounces of the blicks. This could be out already. I need the lid. Okay, let's go. This, the Blix always releases some gases, so after like the first 30 seconds, you gotta open the lid. All right, let's start it. Okay, one, two, three, four. You're gonna do rotations every 30 seconds as well. As you can see, it has a little, there you go. Take the air out, put it back in. Let's rinse this stuff. It's gonna be three minutes. There you go. Let's pour this back. Where's my funnel? Let's pour the blicks back. Blicks always stinks more than the other chemicals. It smells like a kind of like a nasty stink. Alright now we're gonna wash it. And I have to wash it in kind of like the same temperature. Good. Good. So it's 
All right. It says wash it in running water, but first I like to give it a shake just to wash all the water. It's not complete. It's not completely sealed. Wash it. Very good. Then you shake it, and then I just do it with running water. And you know what I love about film photography is that. Like you remember the photos that you took, but you're always like expecting, you know, to see them and you don't know what came out and it's just like anticipation is just dope. And that's what I love. I just, I, I can't wait to see the photos right now. I'm like a little kid. I love that about, about film photography. This film, um, digital photography, you see it immediately, instantly. And it's kind of like, eh. Uh, there's no romance behind it. You just like, blah, you see it immediately. This, you have to wait. Well, that's just me. I mean, you can do it however you want to. All right, ready. I'm gonna add the stabilizer. This, it's 10 ounces. I usually put a little more, more, like 12. And this is says to leave it there for half a minute or a minute. So I leave it for longer? Oh, I mean, longer than half a minute, so I do a minute. Leave it there for one minute. Give it like a little shake, remove it so it gets all in there. All right, it's been one minute. And, oh, we're gonna put the stabilizer back. Always use your chemicals more than three times, four times. This is gonna be like my fourth time, six, no, fourth or fifth time that I that I use this chemicals and they're still good. So reuse your chemicals, you're gonna save a lot of money. There we go. So the moment of trim. Go the moment of truth now. Hey, I see photos. Yep, and here are the photos. We got some photos. I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope that I encourage you to to develop your film at home, uh, you're gonna save tons of money, man. You're gonna save a lot of money. I used to spend, uh, what was it, like a month, maybe like $100, maybe, because I, I shoot a lot. And I used to take it to the lab and it was a lot of money that I was spending. Um, but with this, man, you just spend around, let's say 30 to $40 and you can develop a lot a lot of rolls with the same chemicals so i highly recommend that you buy uh, the, chem the chemicals to develop at home just do it yourself uh, and it's so much cooler man when you develop your your own film and yeah i see you next friday on my next episode of film friday till then keep shooting guys see ya